Welcome once again to Vegas Valley Treasures. As always, my name is Kenneth. I am your host. I am your hand model. And I am the crazy Vegas Valley Treasure Hunter, which means I go out and buy stuff and bring it home. And, well, that gets me in trouble because I got too much stuff at home. I need to find it in new homes. But today what we're going to do is a, a little bit more of our um, unboxing. Uh, this is basically, well, no, this is where we left off last time. Um, I did a few... Uh, creation videos then I did up, or I should say upcycling videos and I did a another unboxing video this is what we've got left from what's sitting in front of us so let's get on it and let's take a look okay so what we've got here is a pair of stud earrings uh, with their gold tone in the front um, I don't like the backs on these so I don't like to have gold tone pieces with silver backs so let's take a look a little closer at this So these are uh, comedy and tragedy masks, which is kind of cute. Let's see, are they, are they Ferris? It's always my question, right? Yes, they are. Okay, so we're going to take... Ooh, wow, that's really stuck on there. I'm going to take the, the backs off. We're going to replace them. I've always got my handy-dandy little package of rubber earring backs, which are very useful for such occasions. It's amazing how many earrings I wind up with that don't have backs and or, or have inappropriate backs. And just to be able to replace them on a whim, uh, very helpful. Oh, I'm gonna have to move my phone. It's sitting on top of my box of bags. Uh, let's see. Cool. I mean, this is a, a cute little thing for maybe a uh, theater major or somebody who likes to perform it's cute put these in my baggie lock them up and on their way to Grogu they go hey Grogu how you been today sorry I haven't talked to you in a few days it's been a little bit I actually took off the weekend and didn't make any videos this weekend um, Okay, Froggy, you can sit over here for now. Let's keep going. Oh, another pair of earrings. Okay. So I don't know what kind of card this is supposed to be. But we'll take this off of here and put it on something more appropriate. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got three little rhinestones at the bottom. I don't see any jewelry marks anywhere. Are you Ferris? No. Their hooks are. And that's sort of to be expected. I wonder if I need to take a closer look. That doesn't hurt to look, right? Let's see. No. No jewelry marks anywhere. Okay, so let's let's card it up anyway. So we'll grab one of my earring cards. And we'll use some of another set of rubber backs. So the other one's got sort of downgraded from metal to rubber, but at least they look better than, than being off color. And these get upgraded from little tiny tubes to rubber to the rubber backs that were there in my or that are here in my little box. Got lots of these things. The supplies you have to stock up on in order to be able to process jewelry, right? And let's bag this up. It's a cute little pair. Always ha happy to have another little set of earrings ready to go out. There you go, Grogu. What are you exactly? Can we untangle you? Yes, we can. Okay. Well, we got an earring attached, so let's take that off. Interesting. And we've got a nice big 
necklace here? Wow. I don't know what this is made of. It almost looks like a, a, a like a an eye piece of an eyeglass, the way it looks, but it's not. Huh. Very odd piece. The individual links are tied together, some sort of cord. Let's see, are you Ferris? You are not. I am not sure what this is supposed to be. I mean, it's a necklace, obviously, but interesting. And we've definitely got a jewelry tag. We got twin jewelry tags. M W and it says C N on the back. Well, that's first. Well, let's write that up. I'll have to figure out what to do with this later, but keeping the information is actually kind of vital. M W and we got C N. Okay, um, let's just put it in a bag. I don't think I need a jewelry card for that because it's not going to improve the appearance of something like this. It's just big and bulky at this point. But it doesn't look damaged. Could use a little polishing on the, the silver tone pieces, but other than that, I mean, it, it, it seems to be in decent enough shape. Get in the bag, please. Thank ya. Okie dokie. And we'll fold this over. Come on. No, no, no. Get in the bag. And... Silly little sandwich bags. I really need to get more Ziplocs. I gotta find some inexpensive Ziplocs to buy uh, My last source dried up on me. Ooh. That's an empty piece. Okay, so we've got a nice big necklace with some hoops. What's going on there? Let's see. Oh, it's just twisted. That's fine. piece itself looks solid. Huh. Just a clasp at the top. Perfectly functional. Huge extender. Uh, I don't see any jewelry marks that are obvious. Huh. Are you Ferris? Why, yes, you really are Ferris. Okay. Nice costume piece. Uh, again, because of this just general size, and this is actually a heavy piece. Uh, we're just going to put it in a bag for now. Okay. And there you go, Grogu. Well, there's something I don't want to see. We got a watch. I'm just going to put it off to the side because watches are, when they're in my possession, they're never functional or they need a battery, either one. And I'll get around to, to trying it out eventually. But I haven't been very successful in selling watches anyway, even beautiful functional ones. But oh, look at that return on investment. I made a penny back. Yay. I guess that proves that I, that I don't dig through this in, in advance, right, guys? This is you. You are seeing this the first time with me. Other than the fact that I purchased the the collection itself, didn't really look through it. Okay, so we've got a braided bracelet with a accent bead. It is Ferris. Draws the connection at the end. Cool. 
um, let's see, can we pull this button up? It does. Okay, we'll put it up for sale. So let's grab a baggie. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. By the way, if you see anything you like or have any questions or comments, uh, just throw something in the comment section. It's good to interact with the people that I'm entertaining and maybe maybe be interested in some of the jewelry. By the way, if, if you are, um, I sell on the Whatnot site and Whatnot app under the name Vegas Valley Treasures. One word, Vegas Valley Treasures. Okay, what do we got here? This is plastic. It is garbage. It says good luck. It's a kid's toy ring. You can find everything in these if you go through enough. Okay, throw that to the side. Don't need it right now. We've got a piece of a stretch watch band. Or, or maybe a charm bracelet. But I don't think so. I think it's just a watch band. So I'll throw it in the, in the watch section that I have to my right. Uh, this is a broken pin. It's missing its pin back. Uh, it does have the piece here. That is a very pretty stone. Yeah, it is, it is cold. I don't know what kind of stone that is. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, the metal itself is non-ferrous. Could be silver. Well, I'll have to test it to find out. It looks kind of old, which is why I'm thinking it might be silver. Okay, put this to the side. Let's keep going. Uh, well, we got a stretch ring, beaded, uh, with a flower design up front. It is... You can see here it, it's brassy. Here it's silver toned, um, which means it's losing its uh, electroplating or whatever plating it had on it. Which means I really can't, in good conscience, sell it unless somebody really absolutely wanted it in the condition it's in. And you can see the beads in the back are both brassy and silver toned. Huh. It doesn't look bad. Oh, we'll come back to that one also. Uh, scrap. I'll throw that in my scrap bin. Nice hook for another project. Getting down to the dregs here. Okay, we've got an earring. Did I have one like this earlier? I don't remember. I'll, I'll, we'll take a look in a minute and match it up. I, it looks familiar, though. And we've got a, a screw-back earring. It seems to be missing at least two of its stones here and here. Non-ferrous. Let me take a look. Maybe it's... Maybe we got some metal here. Uh... I don't see any markings, which is unfortunate. Oh well. Oh, well, we're gonna put this into my um, craft box, I think. So I can't really do anything with it with it missing two stones and a friend. So craft box it goes. Uh, let's see another. Oh. This is a piece of an earring. Scrap bin, please. And this is a magnetic close. I'm gathering it was part of a bracelet or something. Or maybe it's an earring by itself. Interesting. Don't know. Okay. Getting down to the dregs here, so. I'm not sure what we'll find anymore. Oh, we got a an open loop ring. 
silver toned? Is it ferrous? It is not. Let's take a look to see if there's any markings on it. Once again, if you if you guys didn't know, I use my little makeshift scope here. So I've got a flashlight attached, well, nestled up against this little viewer. And that's what I use to look inside and look for markings. My eyes are not what they used to be, sadly. And... Oh, look at that. 925. This is silver. Nice. I'll have to test it, of course. But it's definitely got markings. Okay. So we'll put this to the side for testing. Nice little open ring there. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got another straight earring. I don't see any friends for this one. One can hope, right? Okay. Well, that thing looks interesting. Oh, uh, there's definitely something written inside here. So we'll take a peek at that. Well, while we're thinking. Non-ferrous, good. And, oh, this is a Monet. Nice. It's too bad we don't have the other of the pair, but it's nice to find a Monet earring regardless. Let's stick it back here. Okay. Oh, more links to that watch band or charm. Don't know what to do with these right now, but... Someone broke these apart nastily. I'll just stick them in with the watches for now. What is this? This is a shelf um, peg. Not very useful for our purposes. You are a, a beaded necklace, beaded choker? Yeah. And they're I think they're glass beads because they're cool to the touch. Interesting. Let's see. And it, it feels like it's on a wire. Let's see if I can confirm that. Yep, definitely on a steel wire or iron, ferrous based. Uh, I, I think I'm going to have to replace the clasp, though, because the clasp itself, it, it has a little rough edge right here for the opener. It functions. But I think we need to replace that. I wonder if that's going to be easy. Did they? I think they closed this onto the clasp rather than putting a ring on it. So I'm going to have to cut the actual clasp itself and put another jump ring in there. Okay, so that's going to be a project. So let's put this off to the side in the project box. Okay. Oh, random fake rhinestones. Got two of them. Put those back in here. We can. We got a random bead. We don't need to look at that. A uh, little bit of trash. This is what I'm curious about. Um, it appears to be a a little Santa girl figurine articulated, which is really cute. Uh, it's got a, a big bead to the face. The arms and legs appear to... Oh, they move very nicely. It's got a cute little Santa dress and hat and a rhinestone collar. Cute. And it's a keychain, obviously. Let's see. Versa Collection... Magnolia and Vine. Okay. Another Magnolia and Vine piece, apparently. This is really adorable. Huh. Let's bag it up. So would you consider this to be a uh, a 
a set, oh, let's put, let's get that correct. Uh, the face should fall, be forward, the purse should be forward. See, I don't think, I don't know if this is considered to be a Mrs. Claus or just somebody dressed up in Santa attire, but it's adorable. I've, ne I've never seen anything quite like that before. But since it's a company piece, I'm sure there are others like it out there. But my first experience. Off to Grogu you go. We've got a American flag heart pin. Pin opens. Does it close? It does and it locks. Very good. I don't see any um, markings on it. Non-ferrous. Well, let's card it up. But it's another great day here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just had the uh, maintenance person come by and fix my garage door, which died on me this past Friday. Not that you guys really needed to know that, but hey, it doesn't really hurt for me to share details like that. Um, besides, it makes me seem a little more human, as it were. We all have problems in our lives. It's just a matter of making sure that you take care of them, right? And of course I cause a problem. I just broke the pin back off of the, the pin. Okay, project bucket you go. See if we can't fix that later. Doubt it. I think it needs to be soldered, but and I'm really not into soldering. Okay, what do we have here? We've got a, a necklace that ends in a hook uh, with a large extender. So... So it's, it's normally choker size, but it extends out for a few more inches. Um, hmm. What are we missing? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's follow this along. Pearl, rhinestone, 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 little pearl, little pearl. Missing a rhinestone right there. Pearl, 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 pearl. Rhinestone, 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 rhinestone. Uh, rhinestone, rhinestone, pearl, rhinestone, rhinestone, pearl, rhinestone. So if I could find something that, that fits there, I might be able to repair this. Um, it's really intricate. And it is ferrous. I'd like to be able to repair it. Other than that, it doesn't look like it's in bad condition. No real wear on the whatever plating it is. Other than that, it looks good. So let's put this in the project box. We'll see if we can't find a, a rhinestone to fit it. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Made in the USA earrings. Ferris. Oh, uh, well, with the original tag of five bucks on it. Interesting. I don't know if it's worth five bucks, but they look in good condition. They certainly open and lock into place. Very good. Let's put a bag on it and send it over to Grogu. Just a few more pieces left in the box here. There's still more stuff, but it's not really associated with this particular collection. Jeez, I've got like four more collections I need to go through, at least. Or at least the ones I can think of. Okay, we've got another piece of that, that little bracelet, or whatever it is. Okay, so we've got two random stud earrings. We'll come back to that. Oh, three random stud earrings. We'll check them in a minute. We've got a Oh, that is adorable. Oh, it's a glass slipper necklace. Look at that. 
Okay. Let's put this down. We'll come back to you. That is adorable. And it's it's very small. It's choker size. So I'm gathering this is probably for a child. And it's got it's got a jewelry mark there. I'll take a look at that in a second. Are you Ferris? Yes, you are. Okay, does the clasp work? Yes, good. Okay, let's take a look at the jewelry mark. Avon. Let's see, is there anything on the other side? Nope. So this is an Avon glass slipper necklace. That is adorable. Okie dokie. Let's put you on a jewelry card. I I am sometimes amazed by what I find. I know it's 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 silly, but I mean it's the whole Cinderella glass slipper thing. Probably be better if it was something that do with um, something more recent, but for someone of my generation, that is freaking adorable. Okay, let me write up a card for Avon. Uh, let's grab a card and. in a bag. Sometimes you just find really pretty things. That is adorable. I've said that three or four times already. Well, I, I found um, a carriage um, necklace for prior, but this is that is so cute. Okay, off to Grogu you go. Now we were going to look at this. We got a little um, earring here. Let's see. Are you Ferris? I bet you are. Uh, that would be a yes, or at least the the post here is. Let me take a quick peek under the scope. See if there's any jewelry marks. No, but lots and lots of corrosion. This is not a sellable piece. So I'll put this in my pile for the craft bin. And we've got three studs left. That one's obviously ferrous. That one's also obviously ferrous. And three for three. Cool. Uh, let me take a quick look under the scope here. I don't see any jewelry marks on any of them. And the, the triangular one is very corroded. But we'll, we'll pop, put them in. I actually have a, um, a jewelry... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's basically this large pad, which is made for holding earrings. Um, it hangs in your closet. And I tend to put the, the singlet um, stud earrings on them just so I can eventually, maybe, maybe, if I'm lucky, find a, a something to pair it up with. But that's just me. And Okay, so we've got one more earring here. And... So it's a piece of art glass, non-ferrous around the edges and non-ferrous there. And the rest of this is just those few few little pieces that I found in the box. A couple of rhinestones and a bead. And that's it. So we've got a bunch of earrings here that don't have friends, unfortunately. We'll, we'll, we'll double check to make sure I didn't miss anything but I don't think I did. And I guess that ends that, that, oh, sorry for bumping the camera. I guess that ends that little piece of the collection. I hope this has been fun, and I hope that maybe you saw something you liked. In the meantime, as always, 
This is Vegas Valley Treasures. Please, if you can, like and subscribe. Um, well, I, I should say, well, yeah, it is subscribe. It's follow on, on whatnot. Uh, if you can, visit me on whatnot, the whatnot app or whatnot.com under the name of Vegas Valley Treasures, one word. Um, if you need any jewelry. And I am Kenneth, your host, your hand model, and the crazy Vegas Valley Treasure Hunter. I hope you had a good time, and as always, enjoy your jewelry. Take care. Bye-bye.